Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Usually when I do videos, I'm starving and I'm excited because I'm about to feast on some awesome food. But this time, I'm only just starving because I am excited, but it's more, more nervous than excitement because I'm here at the old San Francisco Creamery where I'm about to take on the kitchen sink challenge. This is the first time on this channel I'm doing a food challenge and probably only the, uh, the fourth time in my life I'm doing a food challenge. So. My first food challenge ever was eating McDonald's hamburgers in a university. So I ate 10 hamburgers in like 10 minutes. That wasn't much. Then one day I went to eat curry and accidentally took the uh, spiciest curry in the world challenge. Then a few years ago, we had the dumpling eating contest in Times Square. So this is the fourth time in my life I'm doing a food challenge. The first time I'm doing it for this channel. And, and I'm really, I'm really nervous. I tried to pick an easier one to do to kind of ease my way into food challenge videos. So I thought eating a lot of ice cream wouldn't be too difficult. But um, as today came and I got to know my opponent better, the kitchen sink is pretty formidable. So you have to eat eight scoops of ice cream with eight toppings and I think two to three bananas. I mean, even the bananas on their own can fill me up, but on top of that, you have to have the ice cream and the toppings. And these are not your regular scoops. They use actually massive scoops of ice cream. I'm pretty worried about this. Today, I really didn't eat much. I had some yogurt in the morning. I feel really hungry, but I don't know what it's like to eat a lot of ice cream on an empty stomach. I don't know what kind of effect that's gonna have on me. So let's go in there and meet my opponent. I'm sitting inside the San Francisco Creamery and this table will be my battlefield today. There's a current record of I think around six minutes. If someone beats that, then the time for everybody goes back up to one hour. So you get an hour. But unfortunately for me, nobody is able to beat the six minute record. So now uh, I only get 30 minutes to complete this challenge, which is, I feel like it's kind of unfair because Adam from Man Vs. Food, he got an hour. I only got 30 minutes. But if I can do it in 30 minutes, I get free ice cream for a year. Not that that's a good thing, particularly for my weight. And this place is kind of far from my house, but it's pretty cool to be able to have ice cream for a year. But here's the problem, guys. Since they started offering this challenge, only 13 people have completed it. And even Adam Richman finished it in about 45 minutes. So is it likely I finish this challenge within 30 minutes? I, I don't think so, but I'm gonna try. But I feel like this being my first food challenge video, my mission today is regardless, the 30 minutes were not, the free ice cream were not, I don't really care. I just wanna finish this Sunday and preferably within one hour. Now here's what I'm up against. And this is really crazy. I have to get eight scoops of ice cream, giant scoops, not normal little itty bitty scoops, eight giant scoops of ice cream, eight toppings, and I have to have it with whipped cream, with nuts, with cherries, and with sliced bananas, three sliced bananas. And the flavors I'm battling today are mint chocolate chip, coconut, mango, strawberry, vanilla, mango peach, kiwi strawberry, and burgundy cherry vanilla. For my toppings, I got blueberry, hot fudge, rainbow sprinkles, chocolate sprinkles, chocolate syrup, pineapple, raspberry, and another order of hot fudge. My opponent is mighty, but I am not deterred. And that's probably because I haven't seen it yet. When I see it, I might pee my pants a little. So my strategy today is I'm gonna finish the bananas first because I feel like they're gonna be the hardest part of the ice cream. Then I'm gonna order a side of fries to kind of change the flavor up a little bit when I need to and uh, just complete this as quickly as I can. Of course, the rules say I cannot throw up, but just in case I do because dairy poisoning, that's a real thing. I did go to a Paris Baguette yesterday. I'm sure this is not how Paris Baguette will wanna make it into my videos, but yeah, Paris Baguette, your bags seem about like a good size. It seems pretty sturdy, it doesn't leak. This will be my insurance in case I need to, you know, do something that's pretty much disgusting. And of course, nobody else can help me. The only good thing is I'm really, really hungry. But again, I don't know what it's like to eat a lot of ice cream on an empty stomach, but I'll let you guys know pretty soon. Now, I'm gonna sign my life away <laughs> and uh, let's get this challenge started. Guys, I saw my opponent and it is mighty and I, I'm already losing the, the intimidation game because I, I feel like I feel like I stepped into a ring and, and there's a 600 pound muscular bear staring at me and, and I I want to run. I feel like running right now. Whew. That, that one scoop was literally the size of a softball. Who can finish this? Oh my god. Oh. I feel like a minor leaguer uh, try, trying to bat against who John Lester in the World Series, and I'm just way outmatched right now. 
but I can't think like that. Gotta have the eye of the tiger. Eye of the tiger. I don't know if I can do this. I'm gonna try to remain positive because I, I left um, only halfway through the making of my Sunday because I, I can't look anymore. I just, I, I, I feel so psyched out. So I just wanna see it when it comes to me and I'm gonna start. Guys, I don't get nervous filming these food videos. Um, no matter how crowded a restaurant is, no matter where I am, I don't get nervous filming these videos. I'm nervous right now. I'm, I'm psyched out that the ice cream looked me in the eye and peered into my soul and it had frightened me. But the cool thing is, if you come here just for a scoop of ice cream, that's how big the ice cream is. And that's only like 450. So it's very economical to come here for ice cream. But I thought literally when they said eight scoops of ice cream, it was just gonna be eight, you know, eight little scoops of ice cream. Like you go anywhere, they just hug and dazz. They just give you like a little scoop of ice cream. But this is an ice cream monster. I am battling against an ice cream monster today and it is not gonna be pretty. Um, the restaurant is gonna set my timer at 30 minutes. So if I finish it within 30 minutes, the ice cream sundae is free. Otherwise it's $50. But again, my personal win is gonna be if I can finish it within an hour, or better if I beat Adam, that's my personal win. So, so I'm shooting for 30 minutes, but if I don't make it, cut me some slack. All right, here we go. <laughs> Holy cow. Are you kidding me? That, no. Can you guys still see me? No bloody way oh my god it's falling it's avalanching right now oh my goodness excuse me while i photo here we go 30 minutes this is the spoon they gave me this is a spatula this is not a spoon oh my god all right let's do it i don't even know how to begin serve bird first you know guys the good thing is it tastes good my strategy of banana first that's out the window. The banana is buried under like 20 pounds of ice cream. I have no strategy at this point. I'm just hoping I can do this. And those people who finished in six minutes, Molly Schuler is the record holder. If you guys remember, if you saw my vlog, she was the winner of the dumpling eating contest I hosted in New York. Six minutes. Molly, that brain freeze should have killed you. How do you do this in six minutes? My team is telling me to shut up and just keep eating. It's delicious though. You guys want to join me? Please, yeah, I wish you could join me, but you can't. I mean, I wish you could, but I will be disqualified from, from winning. But I wish you could. I would love to give you half a dish. Don't get sick. Can you guys still see me? I'm still hiding below this ice cream. I hope my parents aren't watching this because they would not be happy with what I'm doing right now. Sorry guys, if this gets messy. I don't see how this cannot get messy. I don't even know what flavor I'm eating right now. I just know it's cold. Mm. Mix it together. Ah. <laughs> feel my life flashing before my eyes right now. Why did I choose to do this to myself? Ah. My fries are here. Now, I don't even know if I can do it. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. You know, if I was a kid, I'd be really happy about this. Eating ice cream as a meal, but... Now it just seems painful. I thought the sorbet would be lighter, but it's pretty heavy. So I think we're five minutes in. And by this point, Molly's almost done with this whole thing. Amazing. I wish this sink came with a garbage disposal. A sink dish. I feel with this much ice cream, I should be sitting around with a bunch of people talking about relationships. My mouth feels like the Arctic right now. It's frozen. I'm gonna eat a fry and see if uh, it's good for my mouth. Hmm. The thing I was so confident just yesterday, just ice cream. All right. I'm carving into this Mount Everest of ice cream. The problem is ice cream is freezing my mouth. And another problem is I really don't like sorbet. 
So it's, it's kind of ruining the flavor for me. And there's so much nuts in here. This is like my, my Everest right here. Giant sorbet. See this? I feel like this is a normal scoop. Brought over some hot water. Maybe that's gonna warm my mouth up. Don't want to touch my teeth though, because that's gonna be a little painful. All right, it's helping my frozen mouth a bit. I ordered the sorbet because I didn't want too much dairy. And I really don't like sorbet. Ah, uh, I wish I went to a steak challenge. I love steak. I don't even eat ice cream that often. Oh, that's um, strawberry is so big. I kind of feel like a burger. All right, man, you got 15 more minutes, sorry. <laughs> okay, I, I, I only got 15 more minutes. Guys, look, I'm not finishing this by 30 minutes. Let's just try to finish this, and that will be my victory for today. My mouth feels like the Arctic tundra. Uh, what's up? Can you help me with this? <sighs> no support around here. And there's still three bananas on the bottom. Looks so easy on TV. I'm taking a two minute break. I gotta sit up for a second. Gonna shake the food into my legs. I was just informed my 30 minutes is almost up. Yeah, I'm not finished this in 30 minutes, but I will try to finish it. Guys, if it looks like I'm suffering, it's because I am. Uh, there's some ice cream in here that I ordered. It has a lot of cherries. That was a mistake. Not that the cherries alone would have accounted for my downfall, but I think I'm halfway done. This is halfway done? Was it up here? Really? That's right now? Oh my god. It's so miserable right now. <laughs> the hot water really helps. I'm pushing this stuff down. Please tell me that's getting smaller. Thumbs up, huh? Yeah. I don't get a free ice cream for life. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I'm going for a moral victory here. I lost my free ice cream. Couldn't finish this thing in 30 minutes. Look, I'm already at the baseline of this thing. I can definitely do this in like an hour or something. Just gotta you finish it. it. It's hot water, it's fine. <clears throat> Thanks. Thank you. How come there's so many cherries in here? I didn't want cherries. I'll never eat ice cream after this ever again. Ever. What time is it? I'm approaching 45 minutes. There's two scoops left, but I have a sorbet right here. All right, I got two solid scoops in here. I'll eat a steak right now if I don't have to eat this. I'm so sick of ice cream. You just, I mean, just something about it, you just like, you hate it at this point. But, I'm just gonna have to swallow. Literally swallowing this like medicine. The banana has now been frozen into ice bricks, and they are now really tough to eat. There's so many bananas. All right, guys, I have, I hurt, I'm in so much pain. I have about, maybe, maybe one scoop, maybe like three quarters of a scoop left in like slush milkshake form. I can see the end though.
That's it. That's it. I. Oh, this is gross. Camera. That's it. Oh my god. I feel like my entire body has been invaded by ice cream. I'm cold. I'm stuffed. I definitely never want to get ice cream ever again in my life. Wow, how somebody is able to finish all that in six minutes? I don't know how people do it. How anybody is able to finish that in six minutes? You gotta be like, be raised by Eskimos. Your dad is the Yeti. Oh my God. I feel so not that good right now. And surprisingly energetic. That's probably because of the sugar. If any of you guys want to try this challenge, I recommend not getting that ice cream I got with the cherry because there were like 20 whole cherries in there. So that's it. That took me a little over an hour to do. That was very difficult. <laughs> I don't feel that good. I feel like the entire body is just, just ice cream in my veins right now. And definitely never want to eat ice cream ever again in my life. I don't even want to look at ice cream ever again in my life. I feel like my body is, is, is shivering because the, the ice cream just brought my core temperature down by like 20 degrees. I don't see how anybody could finish this within six or seven minutes, but total respect to those people who've done it. I definitely was not ready for this. I didn't prepare at all. Oh, and this was extremely, extremely difficult for me. But you know what? I finished it. That's all I really cared about. It took a long time, but it's done. It's over and I'm never doing it again. All right guys, I I'm done. I gotta go, go somewhere and lay down because I'm gonna start crashing from all the sugar high. Anyway, if you wanna come here and try this challenge, I'll put all their information in the description box. And what I'm doing next week is the foot challenge. I think I'm insane because these food challenges, they, they sound easy, they look easy when other people do it. Definitely not easy. So if you guys do like these food challenge videos, hit that like button and maybe I'll go do more. All right, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.